Alright, so hello again, guys. So I figured out that I should um, explain a little bit more on creating delays using loops. Alright, so earlier we saw in class that um, by using loops, we can actually create a um, time delay. Okay, we can create a certain amount of delay by executing loops. Alright, so yeah, let's proceed. So we've covered this in class. All right. So we we know that the PIC18 uses a crystal oscillator. All right. Every PIC18 board has a crystal oscillator that is uh, generating the clock to control the operation. And one important uh, thing to note here is that one instruction cycle. So one PIC18 instruction cycle takes up to four times the crystal oscillation. Okay, so one instruction cycle is equivalent to four times uh, the crystal oscillation. So this is an important uh, thing to note here. Alright, so before we uh, proceed, uh, I'd like to introduce you to this command, to this instruction. This instruction is called knob, the knob. So this instruction is special in which this is the only instruction in PIC18 that does absolutely nothing. It does nothing. All right. So as useless as it may sound, this is actually very useful in creating time delays. All right. Because in 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 time delays, what we want the microcontroller to do is that we want it to do nothing for a certain amount of time. All right. So this knob command is just perfect to create uh, time delays. So it's not actually completely useless. Okay, and the thing about knob is that it takes executing knob actually takes one instruction cycle. So we will take one instruction cycle to execute this instruction. So earlier we saw that one instruction cycle is actually equivalent to four oscillation. Okay, four oscillation, four crystal oscillation. Okay, so just bear this in mind. Now we let's move on to uh, some example. So suppose we need to write a program to create a time delay of 0 0.5 milliseconds, and the program is to be run on a PIC 188680 with a frequency uh, crystal frequency of uh, 40 megahertz. All right, so. Right, an uh, important uh, keyword to note here: uh, frequency is a uh, forty megahertz. So, which just means, in one given any second, in just one second, the crystal has actually oscillated forty million times. So, this is what frequency means. Right, in any given second, the crystal oscillates for forty million oscillation. Okay, so. Yes, we saw that one second is equivalent to 40 million uh, crystal oscillation. Okay, so now the question is, for one single oscillation, uh, how many seconds do we uh, actually take up? Alright, so if you do the math, one oscillation is equivalent to 1 over 40 million. And you will get 25 nanoseconds for one single oscillation. Okay, so one single oscillation takes 25 nanoseconds. Now, since uh, we know that one instruction cycle, all right, so if you remember, uh, the instruction knob takes one instruction cycle, right? One instruction cycle. So, and it takes four oscillations to to execute this uh, knob. Okay, just to make this clear. So if we execute, uh, if we if we write this NOP instruction in our program, it takes one instruction cycle to execute, which is equivalent to four crystal oscillation. Okay, so one instruction cycle then is equivalent to how many seconds? So in the earlier slide. In the previous slide, we see that one crystal oscillation is 25 nanoseconds. 
So since one instruction cycle takes four crystal oscillation, then one instruction cycle takes a total of 100 nanoseconds. Okay? So, yes. Now we continue with uh, this question. Now we need to write a program to create a time, uh, time delay of 0 0.5 milliseconds. So, yeah, so let's see how we're going to do it. So, one instruction cycle, one in execution of knob takes 100 nanoseconds, right? So, we want to create a delay of 0 0.5 milliseconds. So, how many times do you think you need to execute this knob in order to achieve 0 0.5 milliseconds? Okay, so if you press on your calculator, okay, so 0 0.5 um, milliseconds divided by 100 uh, nano, nanoseconds, so the answer is we need to execute knob for 5,000 times. We need to execute this guy for 5,000 times in order to create a delay of 0 0.5 milliseconds. Okay, so does this thing sound familiar? We need to execute a single instruction repeatedly for 5,000 times. So we can use what kind of mechanism that we can use uh, in order to do this uh, operation. Yes, just as we saw in class, we can use loops. So loops are pretty useful for this kind of repetitive uh, instructions. Okay, so let's see. Uh, all right, so I have a a block of code here like this. Okay, so we have a series of knobs, knob, 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 knob here. So I have a total of seventeen knobs over here. So seventeen knobs. Each knob takes up one instruction cycle. All right, so 17 knobs takes up to 17 instruction cycle. Okay, 17 instruction cycles. And this DECF, executing this DECF actually takes one instruction cycle. And branch again takes actually, takes up two instruction cycles. So in total, this block of code actually takes up 20 instruction cycles. So it takes 20 instruction cycles, right? So 20 instruction cycles, they are equivalent to how how long in seconds. Okay, so one, uh, one, one instruction cycle, previously we saw uh, one instruction cycle is 100 nanoseconds. So 20 instruction cycle is precisely 2 microseconds. So if you don't believe me, so you can use a calculator and you'll get 2 microseconds. Alright, so executing this entire block of code once, only once, if you execute it only once, you will take 20 microseconds. Okay, so if you execute this once, we have actually created, successfully created a block of delay of 2 microseconds microseconds long okay now there is actually a simple shortcut that we can use to uh, to simplify that block of code so instead of writing this knob repetitively for 17 times we can actually use a macro to do so so this is how the macro looks like so we have a dupe knob which means a duplicate knob and macro and kk is the number of times you want to duplicate okay so this function does the duplication so whenever we call this uh, dupe knob dupe underscore knob in our program 
and we specify the number of times let's say d 17 so we are actually executing 17 times of knocks you see just by using one line of command instead of um, you know 17 times of uh, knobs over here uh, we can actually shorten the command by using macro so yes this is how it turns out to knob 17 equals to the 17 times of uh, knobs now so if we have something like this uh, dupe, dupe knob uh, 17 oh, I think uh, that's that's a uh, there's a mistake over there. Um, we have actually some some block of code like this. Uh, yeah. uh, it should be this. Okay, so. Okay, so let's say we have a block of code that uh, that's like this. So we have dupe knob 17, and we have decrease file, skip 0, and loop count, and branch again. So these instructions take 20, uh, takes up to 2 microseconds to finish if we, if we want to execute once, right? So if we execute this instruction one time, all right, it takes up 2 microseconds, all right? So, in order to create a delay of uh, 0 0.5 milliseconds, okay, so how many times do you think we need to execute this code? Okay, so if you take your calculator, so 0 0.5 milliseconds, you divide it by 2 micro, so you will get um, 250 times. So in order to create a delay of 0 0.5 milliseconds, we need to execute this block of code for 250 times. And how do we execute this block of code 250 times? Precisely using loops. Alright, let's see how do we do that. So as usual, we have a loop count equivalent to uh, 0 0.00. So we move uh, 250 into the working register and we move it into the loop count and we have that block of code which says dupe knob 17 and decrease loop count and branch again so what we have done here is we are going to decrease loop count until it's zero and loop count has a value of 250 initially and it's going to decrease up to until it reaches zero so um, this is how we execute this piece of code for 250 times okay so when we do uh, when we do this we have actually created a program that does nothing for 0 0.5 milliseconds All right clear enough okay so now let's say um, instead of uh, 0 0.5 milliseconds now we want to create a new program okay a new program okay and this program uh, we want to create a delay of 100 milliseconds so what do we do we need to create a delay of 100 milliseconds all right so we can start um, by doing the same the same thing as we have done previously okay but we have a shorter way of doing it so since the last uh, in, uh, the last instruction so this we know that this uh, entire piece of code takes 0 0.5 milliseconds to execute all right so what we do is just we repeat this entire piece of code all right for 100 uh, sorry for 200 times okay so we repeat this entire piece of code for 200 times okay so if you don't believe me so if you repeat this code that takes 0 0.5 milliseconds for 200 times so what we'll get is what 0 0.5 milliseconds times 200 
you'll get 0 0.1 seconds which is equivalent to 100 milliseconds okay so how how do we actually repeat this the piece of code for 200 times all right precisely again we use loops okay let's see so we have this piece of code right here okay so this this entire thing now if you execute this entire thing it takes 250 uh, oh, it takes 0 0.5 milliseconds all right so we want to repeat this entire thing for 200 times so for that we add an, another loop count which is uh, we place it in 0x21 and we move this into a move uh, the value of 200 into a working register and move it into the loop count one and apart from that we ne also need to decrement loop count one until it reaches zero okay and it's going to branch again so this piece of code what we have done is create a delay of 100 milliseconds okay all right so yes so i believe in your assignment 4 you are given a task to create 500 milliseconds and it, it, the, the program is to be run on a 40 megahertz a crystal oscillator so i believe you can do the same all right we can do the same so bear in mind that uh, pic18 only recognize numbers up to 255 okay so for example, if you, you can do move LW um, decimal two five five, so this is the uh, this is the maximum value that uh, you can use. Okay, so if you do this move LW decimal two eighty, is this valid? No, it's not valid. All right. Because PIC doesn't recognize numbers that are more than 255. The reason is because PIC18 is a 8-bit microcontroller. Okay, so the maximum number that you can insert into any register is 255. Okay, so in order to insert numbers that are more than 255, we have to create another loop. Okay, so just bear in mind this. Uh, this is uh, just a little bit of uh, tips for this assignment. So uh, I think I've uh, talked enough, alright, so thank you so much.